Uh, we now come to certificates of service. And nominations for the certificates of service are sought from various LIV sections and committees and the suburban and country law associations. To be eligible for a certificate of service, the nominee must have made a significant contribution to the LIV or the community or act in a representative capacity for a significant period of time for the institute, its sections or committees, affiliated bodies or country or suburban law associations. This year we have nine outstanding recipients. After I read out every recip each recipient's name and their profile, uh, would they please uh, approach the stage? The first recipient of a certificate of service is Alan Goldstone of Tisha Liner & Co. Alan was a founding member of the Institute Liquor Committee in 1985 and up to now he continues to serve on the committee. He is the current chair of the property law section and has served on committees for over 25 years. During this time he has been responsible for reviewing and approving the section's submissions to government. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, Caroline. Um, I also hadn't prepared a speech, didn't realise I had to. I'd just like to thank the Institute for bestowing this award on me. Um, it's a pleasure and an honour to be able to contribute to the profession. Um, I think it's incumbent upon those who have the ability and time to do so to contribute to the betterment of, uh, of the profession and our community generally, and uh, I enjoy doing it, so thank you very much. The second recipient of a certificate of service is Brian Jacob of Brian Jacob and Associates. <laughs> Brian has been a hard working and active member of the Taxation and Re Revenue Committee for 21 years and has also acted as chair of that committee. Brian has also represented the LIV on a number of external committees over the years and is the current representative for the Australian Taxation Office, Victorian Regional Tax Practitioner working group. He has established a strong relationship between the Institute and the Tax Office over the years by assisting in the establishment of a legal database. Thank you, Ross, and thank you, Caroline. Again, I didn't know I'd have to say a few words, but what I would like to say is that the committees at the Law Institute do a lot of work for the practitioners generally, and in relation to the Tax and Revenue Committee, we've even done, done work that's resulted in legislation not being passed which would have adversely affected lawyers. And I don't, can't mention all of them, but there are a number of people who stand out on that committee, and one of them is Tony Reid and, and also Tom May and Jerry Bain. But I can assure you that that committee looks at any changes likely to happen in tax law and takes positive action to see that no adverse effects lawyers. Thank you. Our next recipient is Philip Nolan, partner at Schetzer, Brott and Apple. Phil is a long-standing member of the Property Law Section's Executive Committee, Property Law Committee and Property Law Dispute Resolution, uh, Resolution Committee. In December 2010, he was elected Deputy Chair of the PELS. He has contributed significantly to many uh, institute submissions on property law-related issues and made presentations at many CPD activities. He also lectures on property law at Melbourne University. Thank you, Caroline, and thank you, Ross. Um, it is an honour to accept this award. Um, it does represent a lot of work, but not only my hard work. Um, there's a few people I'd like to thank. Um, all those at the Law Institute who I've worked with over the years. Um, my partner, Honor, for all her support and help, and all my family. All those I've worked with, and there's a few firms and people here that I've worked with over the years. Thank you again. Without your support, the people at the firms and the partners, lawyers like me couldn't get involved your encouragement and your help. Thank you. And I'd also like to thank the people who I blame for getting me involved in the Law Institute, like Dan Fitzgerald and Simon Libus, who, when I was a very young lawyer, took me under their wings and mentored me, and I've turned out the way I am. Thank you all.
Uh, our next recipient is Robin Sparks, Special Counsel at Aitken Partners. Robin has been a long-standing and active committee member of the Wills and Estates Specialisation Committee, Property Law Committee, Succession Law Executive Committee and Probate Wills and Administration Committee. She is a constant contributor to Institute submissions including the Property Law Act Review, Duties Act Review and Guardianship Review. She not only organised the first Property Law and Wills and Estates conferences but remains a regular presenter from LI for LIV events. Thank you, Ross. I'd also like to thank the Institute uh, for conferring the award. I'm just one of the little people. There are lots of us all beavering around, um, doing what we can. And to be quite frank, we learn and gain as much from the Institute and from the work we do uh, as perhaps we give. And again, I'd also like to thank some firms, one of whom, is, or one of which is no longer in existence, Yunkin and Yunkin. Um, McMahon's with, Yunkin, McMahon's with Yunkin and Yunkin, but most of all, Aitken's, formerly Aitken, Walker and Strawn, but now the Aitken Partners, for giving me the opportunity to spend the amount of time I have spent working with the Institute. Thank you. The next recipient is Roger Johnson, Head of Mortgages at Mahn's Lawyers. Roger is a long-standing member of the Property Law Section's Executive Committee and Liquor, Gaming and Hospitality Committee. From 2006 to 2008, he served as chair and was responsible for giving direction to the section, reviewing and approving all submissions. Uh, he is also much input into the Pell's newsletters. Thanks, Ross, and thanks, Caroline. I'd simply like to uh, say that it's, a, it's an honour to receive this, uh, this certificate and uh, endorse what's be, uh, been said before by the earlier recipients. Thank you very much. The next recipient is Ross McClure, Senior Executive Lawyer at Australian Government Solicitors. <laughs> Ross is one of the founding members of the Government Law Section's Executive Committee and continues to be a valued committee member who has contributed significantly to the Government Lawyer's membership. He has extensive experience in government law, having been employed with the Australian Government Solicitor since 1982, primarily in the areas of competition law and taxation law. He has consistently and successfully represented government lawyers working at the Commonwealth level and provided valuable input on submissions and advocacy on national issues. Ross. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, Caroline. Uh, look, I'm also honoured to uh, accept this certificate. Uh, special thanks to Helen Blaskett from the, from the Institute, who provides wonderful support to the um, Government Lawyers Committee. Uh, we're a bit newer than many of the other sections, but it's an important area, I think, for the uh, Law Institute to be involved in, and thank you for the award. Uh, next recipient, our next recipient, is Tony Higgins, Senior Lawyer, Mental Health at Victorian Legal Aid. Tony joined Victoria Legal Aid in 1993 and for the last 18 years has worked tirelessly in the area of disability, advocating on behalf of the most marginalised and disadvantaged. Her commitment ensures that this group receives much needed access to justice. She represents Victoria Legal Aid on the Institute's Disability Law Committee, where she has been instrumental in developing substantial law reform submissions on behalf of Victorian Legal Aid with the hope of changing the law in the area of mental health, disability, guardianship and administration. She regularly conducts educational seminars for lawyers, social workers and other allied health groups about issues affecting those people who suffer from mental illness and intellectual disability. Thank you very much for the Law Institute for this award. I'd simply like to thank everybody I've worked with over many, many years. Uh, who shared with me a passion for trying to work for people who are disadvantaged and I couldn't be here without everybody else who's worked with me sharing that same passion. So thank you very much. Our next recipient is Tony Reardon, partner at Reardon Lawyers.
Tony has been a leading member of the Taxation and Revenue Committee for approximately 20 years and sits on many external committees such as the Law Council's Taxation Committee, the Institute Law Council's Small Medium Enterprise Committee and the ATO's Small Business Consultative Group. He recently established the ATO Professional to Professional Program for Lawyers, providing lawyers with direct point of access to persons with authority at the ATO. Thank you, Ross and Carolyn. Um, I'm, I'm delighted to receive this. Um, I've got to say, doing anything representing the Law Institute, which I've done over a number of years, is, is a terrific experience because you can actually get things done. Um, there's a, there's a, uh, a can-do mentality that uh, achieves uh, where others often fail. Um, I'd like to thank particularly my firm for all the non-chargeable hours that they've permitted me to do. And I'd also more particularly like to thank my wife, Margaret, for all the non-chargeable hours that she's allowed me to do. Thank you very much. And our final recipient of a certificate of service is William Hazlitt, partner at Hunt and Hunt Lawyers. William, better known as Bill, is a long-standing member of the Property Law Section's Executive Committee, Leases Committee and Business Law Discussion Group. From 2006 to 2010, he served as Chair of the Leases Committee. He has contributed significantly to many Institute submissions on leasing-related issues and made presentations to many CPD activities. Bill. Thanks, Ross. Thanks, Caroline. I'd like to thank the Institute for the award. Um, it's a, been a great pleasure to work on various committees with uh, my colleagues and uh, I'd like to echo what uh, Robin said. Uh, working on committees, yes, you give you time, but it is a give and certainly there is a take situation as well because we all receive something from the work on the committees. So thanks once again. Our next category is celebrating 50 years of Institute membership. Um, the Institute would like to celebrate the significant milestone of 50 years of membership to recognise the long-standing support the following practitioners have given and of their dedication to the legal profession. Uh, each of these members will receive an engraved crystal desk clock and a, a certificate marking the occasion uh, could we invite each recipient to approach the stage to collect uh, their gifts and certificate as their names are called out, starting with Bill Rogers. <laughs> uh, have we got a hey, Bill? David Forwell. I hope I've got that pronounced correctly. Ewan McLean. <laughs> Henry Von Bibra. <laughs> Jack Harty. <laughs> Michael Rowett. and Raymond Frederico. <laughs> Those accepting uh, this particular award, 50 years in, uh, who are not here today, uh, Daryl Nelson, John Wilder, Mary O'Callaghan, Michael Owen, Patricia Coots, and William McGregor. If we could have a round of applause for those who are not here today. 